this lesson, we're going to discuss regular expressions. They're a way of doing pattern matching to validate data or search through strings to find a match. What is a regular expression? Regular expressions exist in many, most programming languages. It's very commonly used with structured query language to find matching patterns to something in a database or a table. It's used in JavaScript frequently as well. Pattern matching can be very useful, especially if you're looking for something like an email address where it has to have an at sign and a dot and some letters at the end. It's typically used for form validation in JavaScript. <clears throat> regexpress, R-E-G-E-X-P, is a JavaScript object. Ha being a JavaScript object means that it has different methods that are attached to it that you can use when you're using the object. To create a new regular expression, there's two ways. You can create it as a variable, my expression equals, and then you're using the slash or wax symbols to create a pattern that needs to be matched. Or you can create it the same way a traditional object is created by creating a new variable that is using the new word to instantiate the regular expression object. You use the regular expressions to test strings. So here's an example. In our JavaScript document I've created a variable test expression which is a new regular expression that has a sequence of characters in it that spells out the word roads. We then have a string that we're going to test it against. How many roads must a man walk down? And we have an if statement using test expression, which is our variable, dot test, which is a method of the regular expression object that this is an instance of and we pass it test string. So it's going to check this string to see if this pattern of characters exists anywhere in this string which is done. So when we run this it will give us an alert of yes. We can use special characters with our patterns. The first one that we're using here is just matching the pattern roads. There's no special character. It can appear anywhere in the string. In this one we're using a caret at the beginning of the string and that means that it must exist at the beginning of the string so that it must be in the first portion of the string. The dollar sign used at the end of the expression means that the expression must match the last part of the string with nothing after it. You can also have special symbols to allow repeating characters. A plus sign will allow the character in front of it to repeat, but you must have at least one. If you use an asterisk, it can be zero or more times. Let's take a look at some code. We're going to test some regular expressions in this exercise. I've created a regular expression consisting of the word roads and I have four test strings. Roads along and winding road, how many roads must a man walk down, roads with multiple R's, and roads without an R. And if we just test this without adding any special characters, and I'm in Dreamweaver so I can simply hit live to test it, we'll see that string one matches, string two matches because Rhodes is in there. String 3 matches because it ignores the extra characters in front of the matching string. But string 4 should not match and it doesn't. We can use special characters to dictate the placement of our expression. If we put a character at the front of our, uh, I'm sorry, a caret at the front of our expression, that's shift 6 on your keyboard, the caret indicates that the phrase, the expression after it, has to appear at the beginning of the string. So the only one that should match true with this is test string 1. Let's give it a try. Test string 1 has a match and that's it. If we want to check for roads at the end, we would put 
a dollar sign at the end. And the only one that should be true is this one because it will ignore the characters in front of it. It's just looking for this match here. And test string three has a match. You can also look for repeating letters. If you want the letter R to be able to repeat, it has to have at least one. Everything should come up true except this last one. So multiple R's will work, single R's will work, but this one won't come true. Let's go ahead and try it. We're looking for everything except for string four. And that works perfectly. You can also look for a character to repeat zero or more times. So if that first character is optional, you can put in the asterisk, shift eight, and that will bring us one has a match because zero or more does allow that. Two has a match three has a match, and this time four has a match because we've just made that R character optional.